Hey guys, it's Graham with Tutorial Clarity. Um, today we're going to be working on making your own animated particles for the plugin Trapcoon Particular. Later, later, maybe adding in some, uh, you know, extra effects with Trapcode Star Glow. Completely optional, but I love that plugin. Um, I made a preview of the effect. It's about 25 seconds long, so check it out. So I should say that in order to conserve time and stay on point, we aren't going to be doing any extra camera rotation or text rotation, anything that involves, you know, simple keyframing and changing of values. Um, this tutorial is specifically on how to create your own animated particles for a more custom feel. Um, not everybody wants to work with simple, you know, default spheres and cloudlets. <laughs> oh, the cloudlet particle. But just in case you're curious, I'll list off the things I did in order to complete the full animation once we're done with the tutorial. So, first things first, let's create our new composition. You come up here, go to composition, new composition. And what we're going to be doing here is changing the val values. Sorry about that. Getting used to this to, to this uh, new zoom thing I have. It's going to take some practice. But I go to the uh, preset down here. You'll see it HD TV 72025, uh, width 1280, height 720. I have my duration set to 20 seconds. I mean, this stuff is all up to you. But uh, pretty much pause the video if you need to. Click OK. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a couple layers required to create, you know, our own particles. Um, the bare minimum, bare minimum of what's required. That's what I'm showing you here with some extra stuff later. You go to do uh, up here, solid, layer new, solid layer, that's what we're creating here. And I'll just drag this up here, there we go. And make sure you hit make comp size, in case it's not that way by default, hit OK. And uh, the next layer that we're going to be creating is our light, because we're going to have our particles emitting from the light. So I'm going to go up here to layer, again, new, and we're going to go to light. Now this is very important. Um, make sure under light settings when you have this that your name is set to emitter, um, case sensitive, capital E. It has to be exactly E M I T T E R with a capital E, or trap code particular will not recognize the light and <laughs> you won't get any particles. So there you have that. And if you get this prompt, just go ahead and click OK, or you can turn it off by pulling down this drop down. All right, moving on, moving on. Next thing we're going to do is add an adjustment layer. If you go to layer, new, as you probably guessed, go to adjustment layer and should appear down here. Just going to do some renaming of this. If you click your layer, by the way, hotkey just to get you going faster. If you select your layer and hit enter on your keyboard, you can rename things a lot faster. So I'm going to name this uh, particles and I'm going to name this up here, the adjustment layer. I'm going to name that color because that's all I'm going to be using this adjustment layer for is specifically the color. So uh, with that, let's move on. Alright, so now we actually need to get to working on uh, creating our animated particle. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Um, if you go up here to composition and new composition, should pop up the composition settings window and uh, what we're going to be doing is setting the preset to custom and I'm going to set the composition name to the particle, singular. And I'm going to uncheck lock aspect ratio. I'm going to set the width to 200, height to 200, and uh, everything else is pretty much good. I'm just going to change the duration and set it to 5 seconds. And I'm going to hit OK. So now you'll notice that we're actually inside our new composition titled the particle. And uh, let's actually make that particle. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the text tool up here if you see it. Grab the text tool. I'm just going to click in here and uh, do a lowercase o. I'm just going to drag that in the center. That's about good. And uh, as for properties, I'm going to come over here and just change it to Century Gothic. I already have that set. You know, regular, 
Um, pixel size, I'm going to set that relatively large, 150 pixels, whereas the composition itself is like uh, 200 by 200. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, and that's really all you have to do, by the way. <laughs> but uh, you can come down here, and I'm going to set this layer, our text layer, to 3D. And that's later, because if you want your particle to animate in 3D space, then you have to set that layer to 3D. Setting the composition itself to 3D, uh, not so much, and it takes up more rendering time. So, uh, yeah. Moving on here. Let's start adding some effects to this O, rather uh, ordinary particle. If you go to, with it selected, if you go to Effect, and then you go to, uh, let's see, Distort, and come down here to ripple. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is setting the radius to 100, and we're going to set the wave speed to 1, and let's set the wave width to 8, and the wave height to 40. Zoom back out here, and now you'll see if I scrub along the timeline, we got this cool little ripple effect going on with our particle. The next thing I'm going to do is actually just do a keyframed rotation. It really is this simple. All you have to do is go down to transform. And since it's a 3D layer, we have the X, Y, and Z rotations available. So I'm just going to left click the stopwatch, and it automatically creates a keyframe wherever my tar time marker was, which happened to be at the very start of the composition. So it created a keyframe there. And I'm going to move down to, oh, don't want to zoom in there down to the end of the composition, sorry about that. And I'm going to set another keyframe by clicking this little diamond button. That's how you insert a keyframe. And now you'll see we have a keyframe over here. Pretty cool. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually just come in here and set the degree for the Y rotation to 180, where that keyframe is. Click out. And so now if I scrub along the timeline, we have this cool 180 degree rotation. Now, to finish up this particle, it pretty much is done. I'm just going to swap over here to my Comp 1, or you may have titled this Main. It's completely up to you. But I'm going to go over here in Project, and you'll see here is our main composition. In fact, I'm just going to right-click, I'm sorry, select it, hit Enter, and call this Main. Um, you're welcome to do so if you please. And our The Particle. And I'm just going to drag The Particle composition into the Main composition, right down there. In fact, now that I think about it, I'm actually just going to drag it above the particles because we haven't added our particles yet, and that's still a solid layer. You can't see it. So here is our the particle composition, and just as we did before, I'm going to scroll through it up to five seconds. It does disappear. Don't worry about that. We're going to fix that in Trap Code Particular. But it rotates, and there's our cool little particle. All right, so believe it or not, I mean, everything from this point forward should be familiar except for the actual custom particle implementation, implementation part aspect. Thing. I'm about. Yeah. Anyway, um, if you come down here and you click on particles, make that selected, and then you come up here, we're going to apply an effect, and we're going to add trap code particular. And there it is, trap code particular. However, I am also going to add one more, like I said. This is completely optional. If you have it, fantastic. If not, I'm sorry, my friend. Come up here, go to effect, trap code, and we're gonna do star glow. Alrighty then, so now we have our particular and star glow. I'm just gonna collapse the star glow for now and I'm gonna turn it off. And then, uh, yeah, let's go into particular. Alright, so I'm gonna pull down particular and I'm gonna go to emitter and I'm gonna keep the particles per second at 100. Uh, we have our emitter type, let's change that to light. And that's automatically, trap code particular is gonna detect our emitter light and we'll start being able to emit particles from that light. Um, velocity, let's keep that at 100. Emitter size X, I'm gonna put all these to 2000. You hit tab on your keyboard, you can uh, tab down there. So, anyway, moving on. But yeah, now that I think about it real quick, let's go ahead and turn off our the particle layer. Make sure it's not particles. Let's hide it by clicking the eye icon 